Okay, guys, listen. Deutsche Bank. Everybody out there thinks Deutsche Bank is going to merge with Commerce Bank, and it's going to be the end of the problem. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's not the end of the problem. It's it's <clears throat> Deutsche Bank has been festering for a long time within the financial system, and you know they're desperate now. This this whole maneuver about merging. Deutsche Bank with Commerce Bank is a, is a move of desperation. Because Deutsche Bank's so big and they got such a large derivatives book, you know? So what we got to do is we got to open up the charts right here and we got to take a look at what's going on. You know, Deutsche Bank right now, their stock is just, I mean, it's it's going down seriously low right now. It's a 7.28. They, they never really did get up any amount in their stock prices. Uh, if we go back and we take a look at the six-month chart here, uh, we can see it's just been a steady decline. And in fact, if we go back to a year, still steady decline. Five years out, just to, just they went down to a certain level here. Now they've been bottom bouncing, and they're starting to turn downwards again. It doesn't look good for Deutsche Bank. So they're desperate. They're desperate because Deutsche Bank is left on its own devices, is getting ready to fail. It's a failing institution, but it's so big. It's one of these too big to fail banks, quite seriously, because the effect if Deutsche Bank goes down to the to the banking system and the worldwide banking system is going to be worse than a Lehman moment. It's like Lehman times 10, you know, and, and the world is ready to turn over right now. The whole financial system is in the world right now is extremely vulnerable. Uh, <clears throat> in more in more ways than one, it's very vulnerable. So we're looking at a stock price decline right now in Deutsche Bank. So so we got to get to an article here. This article here is very important because it helps us to understand what's really going on with Deutsche Bank and this German merger. And and it's not in the bag. This German merger's absolutely not in the bag. German politicians are split over bankrolling Deutsche Bank and and the and the merger. Uh, now, I get this article from Reuters. It says, Berlin, Reuters, a political rift has emerged in Berlin over whether Germany should put its financial muscle behind a merger of Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank. Politicians and officials said uh, complicating, it's complicating a bid to create Europe's third largest bank and fund it. Germany's two top banks have struggled to recover since the financial crisis of 2008, and government officials, led by Finance Minister Olaf Scholz, are pushing for a merge. So it's Scholz. His first name's Olaf. Scholz are pushing for a merger to create a national banking champion to end the questions over the future of Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank. So they're going to try to create. Two banks out of one. But the dispute is unfolding between two political parties who govern Germany in a coalition. So we got a coalition government in Germany, and there's a dispute between these two government parties in Germany right now over what they should do. It says this row that could reduce political momentum for a deal and derail any future agreements on whether or how Berlin should finance financially underpin the merged group. In other words, what their plan was originally, and I guess it was Olaf Scholz's plan, was to merge these two banks together and then fund them with the German government. In other words, bail them out because evidently both of these banks are failing and if even if they merge them both together, they'll both fail. So their plan is, is to merge them both together and then fund them. Uh, evidently, if they try to fund either one of these banks individually, they'll get in trouble. But once they merge them together into a big bank, then they figure they can backdoor some money in there and prop these two failing institutions up. That's the plan, I think, anyway. It says, one senior German official said that Schultz, that's Olaf Schultz, a social democrat, that's what he is, a social democrat, had gone it alone in pushing for the deal without first securing the backing of the Christian Democrats. I guess that's the other party. So I guess uh, uh, 
in this coalition, German coalition, and he hasn't first secured the backing of the Christian Democrats. That official who asked not to be named said some Christian Democrats oppose Schultz's drive because it could involve the state giving a guarantee on funding or contributing to a capital increase for the merged, merged bank. So in other words, they don't want to give the people's money to these two failing institutions. And who doesn't want to give it to them is the Christian Democrats. It says that would mean that Berlin, which already has a 15% stake in Commerce Bank after a crisis era, era, era bailout, would be on the hook again. In other words, they don't want to be on the hook for more money. You know, it's coming down to money. That's what it's all coming down to now. And these governments are nearly broke. This is what it's coming down to. Now, there was a time back when the financial crisis happened back in 2008 where these governments had money to lend out. But now they're getting tight themselves. So it says Schultz was the first to publicly reveal the merger talks earlier this month. So all this talk about merger between Commerce Bank and Deutsche Bank is coming from this Schultz guy. It says, but he has since sought to distance himself from the process, insisting that it is up to the companies to decide. A spokesman said Schultz had not voiced any position in the merger talks, declining to comment on a possible future government action. But his stance and the idea of merging the banks have prompted criticism. The taxpayer cannot be made liable. This is what Einhard Reichenberg, Reinberg said. So he's a member of Chancellor Angela Merkel's conservative Christian Democrats bloc. He told Reuter, I'm calling on Finance Minister Schultz to hold back. Doesn't sound good, guys. It sounds like this merger could be headed toward the rocks. He's, he's telling Schultz to hold back. So all this talk about a merger. This is possibly why Deutsche Bank... Now, investors are not stupid. They're probably reading the same article I'm reading, and they're probably saying to themselves, hey, you know what, this merger just might not happen. Or if this merger does happen, it might not be funded by Germany. Because the Christian Democrats and, and this Einhard, Einhard uh, he's a member of Chancellor Angela Merkel's conservative Christian Democrat bloc, he told Reuter, I'm calling on Finance Minister Schultz to hold back. He says taxpayers cannot be made liable. So it sounds to me like the German government's not planning on funding these two banks, even if they do merger. They're going to be on their own. It says, within the Social Democratic Party attempts to reposition itself closer to regular working Germans as its support dwindles, with some opposed to tying up trade unions, fear, fear will result in the loss of tens of thousands of jobs. And see, if they merger these, these banks too, there will be a loss of tens of thousands of jobs. It said, it is not clear for me how putting two sick banks together will result in a healthy one. It says Cancel, uh, Cancel, that's his name, Cancel uh, Kizzeltip. Uh, I, I mean, I'm having trouble pronouncing this guy's name. Uh, I'm highlighting it here in blue. His name is C-A-N-S-E-L. -S Cancel? Is that Can Hansel? Hansel. Maybe it's Hansel. Maybe you don't pronounce the C. Maybe it's this Hansel. I think that's what it is, Hansel. He's another so social democrat lawmaker. He told Schultz in a closed-door meeting this week. Uh, <clears throat> Through its stake in Commerce Bank, the German government would become the top shareholder in a merged group, playing a central role in any fusion. Berlin, which pushed the merger talks in the first place, could pull the plug if it believes a deal would be politically unplatable would be politically unpalatable. Germany's continued support is important because it could be called on to contribute a capital increase for the combined bank. You know what it sounded like to me as I read this? It sounded like to me that Germany's starting to get cold feet. And why they're getting cold feet is they do not want to have to fund this merged bank. Uh, they don't want to have to contribute a lot of capital because 
this could be very unpalatable, unpalatable uh, financially and, and uh, politically. And so they're starting to get cold feet. It says the bank may need more funds because a tie-up could legally trigger an adjustment in the value of Italian government bonds owned by Commerce Bank. Oh boy. The bank may need more funds because a tie-up between the two banks could legally, legally trigger an adjustment in the value of Italian government bonds owned by Commerce Bank. Oh boy, that's a big one. It says, to reflect their depleted worth, a second German official has said, with Berlin as a shareholder, the merged bank would be seen as having an implicit government guarantee of its credit creditworthiness, cutting its costs of funding. However, in order for Germany to row behind Deutsche Bank, there must be a political agreement among the two parties who are at loggerheads on a range of issues. Gains by the far left and far right in Germany have undermined its traditional consensus-driven politics, with the SPD and CDU now trying to establish a clear distinction between each other. Regional elections in the coming months could heighten tensions in government further, or even trigger a chance of part, a change of parties in, in charge, further complicating any further state support. The finance minister cannot give of a political presence to promote a merger. Uh, Otto Frick, a parliamentarian from the pro-business FDP party that could become a junior partner in a future coalition government, told Reuters, uh, Merkel will have the final say in Berlin on whether the government should openly support a merger. She's kept her cards close to her chest. Her chief of, chief of staff has hinted at one potential hurdle, describing the prospect of thousands of job cuts in a recent interview as difficult. I'm going to tell you, reading this article, my take on it all is, is that there's been a lot of talk of a merger between Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank. But my take on it is, is we're a long way from that actually happening. Because the Germans are getting tired of having to fund everything, you know. And their parties, are, are their, their political structure, their political parties are divided over this issue. And they're haggling back and forth whether or whether not. And I mean, in the meanwhile, Deutsche Bank's sliding. Uh, there could be some sort of last minute last-ditch attempts, attempts to try to save Deutsche Bank uh, because Deutsche Bank is a too-big-to-fail institution and I think when the pressure actually comes on and Deutsche Bank actually starts to fail uh, what we're gonna see is something similar to what's happening with the European Union right now uh, and the United Kingdom where they're try they try to come to some sort of a last minute arrangement. That's what they're trying to do right now uh, with Brexit. They're trying to come to a last minute arrangement. But it looks to me like things are things are going bad, you know. And things could actually go bad with this as well. Uh, heaven forbid uh, if if uh, if things go bad with this and also the. EU, EU starts to leave the European Union with a hard Brexit, along with this breaking out at the same time or similar timing. Uh, I mean, the world could go into a crisis like we haven't seen since the Great Depression. Uh, listen, thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next show. Bye-bye, guys.